and welcome today we will be showcasing the most off 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 meta thing you can possibly do and that is taking a series two deck or below series one and two into high infinite ranked my rank is 5000 and something right now and we will see how this deck performs First up are my farts are interesting username. Sinister London is not going to be good for us. So we will definitely be storming that lane. No Iron Man kind of stinks. I don't have many good cards in my deck. <laughs> oh, double sunspot is very nice. I won't snap yet. Okay, I have priority. I'm going to snap this. We will storm Sinister London. Oh, what a fantastic start. So, because they were avoiding Sinister London, and this really seemed like a disruption deck slash professor x lockdown deck uh we have to pounce with this type of deck as soon as possible so the earliest you can snap the better uh to try to chase people out because believe me everybody's deck is going to be better than this so any win you can kind of scrape out is good and we see our lines kind of uh I can always play Storm Won't Duplicate. So I will have these three cards here. Warpath and Warpath, I could play. Because I have Sunspot here, I would probably play Warpath and just chance it right. And I would have to move my Nightcrawler immediately to make sure which is kind of risky as well but you're gonna have to play a little risky uh, especially me up in uh, the rank i'm at uh because again this deck is not great now i will tell you the weird world location is fantastic for this deck <laughs> because because they get series two cards and uh you get the good stuff so there we go pulled out our first one Okay, next up we have Max in the 2Ks. Uh, let's see, we have a turn one play, we have a turn two. Turn... I'm considering holding my Nightcrawler just to see what the other two locations are. Not that it matters much because I'd probably want to move him into Kunlun. We'll skip, we'll be patient. Okay, I'm glad I was patient. So I will snap now because I can play armor over here. And then the next plan, the next turn, turn three, is to play Colossus and Nightcrawler right and then move Nightcrawler immediately to avoid the Killmonger and get that bonus. And I also have Cosmo for this other lane. This is this is fantastic if I can gain priority. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Do I fill that up? I will play Cosmo over here. Hmm. Ant Man here. Perfect. 
And now, let's see. Warpath won't get the bonus. So where do I... Because I'm going to have to play Spectrum in the middle. So we will play this here. Move this here. And just play down Sunspot for fun. Oh, a goblin? Maybe it's a goblin. Is what they were trying to send over. Hobgoblin. Uh, the other great thing about a Series 2 deck. Relying on armor and Cosmo are fantastic. And for this exact reason. Okay. Double Destroy. Does Double Destroy beat me? They have to leave two here. So that would be 12, 13 power here. And I, so it will be a tie if I play Spectrum. Warpath drops down. I do have Mr. Fantastic. I think we roll the dice and see what happens. Because I I don't necessarily lose the warp. Oh, that's unexpected. Oh, they went the destroyer out. Nice. Another strong win. Victory. Now, so the warpath even though the Warpath dropped down from 10 to 5, that's a loss of power of 5. But because of Spectrum, I gained 2, 4, 6. So I actually went plus 1 in this lane. Uh, and yeah, we just pulled out another one. Uh, very strong performance against a uh, very good ranked player. Alrighty, next up we have Zohan. With the Deadpool. So does that mean you are playing Destroy? And if so, we do have Cosmo in hand. That's nice. I will forego the Sunspot because of the potential Killmonger. And yes, we do have Destroy. And we get two Cosmos. That's fancy. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I want priority here for Cosmo. So I am going to move my Nightcrawler, who almost is definitely going to get Killmongered anyway. So hopefully I can gain priority because I'm winning these two lanes. And then we Cosmo this lane. And then we Cosmo middle. Good. Only one of my Cosmos got hit. No problem. So we Cosmo here, and then we Cosmo mid, and they retreat. Well, I was waiting for them to retreat for, with my second Cosmo, but we got them. Again, this deck being very effective, this is, uh, we are three for three right now. Uh, and it's important to, with a deck like this, snapping and retreating is super important. You have tech cards to deal with the opponent. You have armor, you have Cosmo, and you have Shang-Chi. And so snapping, even though it can feel weird because everybody's deck is going to be better than this deck, you can still pull out wins with, uh, or you can still gain cubes with smart snapping and retreating. Nerd editor back again to just explain. I didn't really draw well this game and I had trouble figuring out my lines and what they were doing. So we'll just kind of fast forward through here and then pick back up uh, right before I end up retreating. Enchantress would ruin me kind of left side. But do they actually do that? 
I will, because of, there's too many unknowns, we'll just get out of here. I wasn't in good position mid and uh, right. I needed either a storm earlier for a lockdown. I needed Warpath. And we, so we just didn't draw the exact cards we needed for this game. And because, again, when you're playing a Series 2 deck, you really need to be good at recognizing what your opponent is, which honestly is true for any deck you use. And because it's a Sarah deck, you have Mirage, you have Nebula, Star-Lord, Maximus, they're holding their tech cards in all likelihood. And because they have priority, if they Enchantress me here, I can't get any of my Spectrum bonus. So it's just not worth playing this one out. Okay, now we have Alberto. Weird world. Just like I was saying earlier, this is a fantastic location for your deck. I'm not going to snap just yet. Oh, another Killmonger deck, huh? Or Destroy, maybe? Okay, let's try to get priority, and then we will snap. Or maybe they're just a regular Destroy deck. Surfer. So it's definitely Killmonger. So, do I snap? Oh, I really want to snap. And we have Hope in hand, we have Cosmo. I'm snapping. We will play Hope. Or do... Yeah, we can. Because then I can play... I can always play Silver Surfer in Dark Dimension. Okay. They have priority. Do I just give up mid? Or left? I might just give up left. Or do I play Cosmo here? I could play Cosmo here. Nightcrawler here, get out an early Silver Surfer and Spectrum. Let's try that. Oh. Okay, but they don't have they don't have Surfer, so they, they if they only have Killmonger. So I can play Spectrum over here. And then last turn, I will have six energy. They will have priority. So I can play Ant-Man Surfer. They can get to plus four here, 12. Spectrum is five. Silver Surfer is seven, 10. Uh, so I would need to win these other two lanes. I think I can still do that. We'll play this one out. Yeah, so I think this is still my play. They have priority. So we abandon, I'm going to abandon left. So move, do I move Jeff? I don't move Jeff because I want my, I want my Ant-Man bonus. So we're going to move Nightcrawler out. We're going to play Ant-Man. Sunspot and Surfer here. Okay. All 
Oh, maybe they played. Mm. Is that Killmonger? Hey, Auntie. Yeah. Okay. How much does that matter? I don't have any ongoing mid. Oh, that matters. Hmm. Yeah, they had their Killmonger right. Okay. So what I should have done is I should have... Which I went through my mind. <sighs> I should have held the Cosmo. And then just tried to gain priority. And cosmo into Dark Dimension. But yeah, like I said, this, this deck isn't great. You have to manage your snaps and retreats. And I just didn't do it there. Okay, we have... Whoop. The nerd editor is returned. So I played this game overall kind of well. Uh, this really just came down to a last turn prediction and if I wanted to see it out and if I was right or wrong. So we will resume and see how this game played out. Two cards in deck, 50-50 chance. So here's the goblin. And the Galactus will follow. <laughs> what a good boy. Now they could do... They could play me uh, and uh, play a big card. Uh, right? But uh, I'm, I'm going with my gut and saying this is a Galactus play. We have priority, so Cosmo can win. Uh, I'm going to let the timer run down. This is a strategic rope. Letting the timer run down, make it look like I don't know what they are doing. The reason I say it's a Galactus deck, they have the goblins, they have Daredevil, they have cards to gain priority, they have a mover to make throw you off the scent. So we've let the clock run down enough in turn. Oh, they did. Mm. Nicely done. They did the fake out. And maybe they read my deck, which is very possible. Uh, is there a way I could have pulled this out if I had Spectrum? Yeah. But I would have had to read their fake out. Or maybe they didn't draw Galactus. Uh, but they also could have read my deck again. We're an ongoing deck, clearly. Uh, so the chances I have Cosmo are kind of high. Okay, next up we have Blue Now. Bonus power is always nice. Anytime now. Thank you. I can't play Mr. Fantastic on curve. We will just play down the armor. I'm not a fan of playing armor on curve because that gives them a lane to play their big cards. Oh. Okay. Mystique is fancy, but I won't be able to get down. Hmm, Iron Man before her. Magic. Now... The magic line would allow me to do Iron Man Mystique. Is this a tribunal deck? No, it is a surfer deck. I think I go for that line. Magic... On turn five. Oh, it's too late. 
Iron Man, Mystique. I want the extra turn. I want the extra turn. I'm going to snap this. We'll play a little aggressive. We know their deck stinks because they have my deck. Maybe they storm uh, Weird World right here. No, but they could storm Limbo. So I do need to be mindful of that, unfortunately. Do I think they drew my storm? Eh, we'll roll the dice. Okay. They did not draw my storm. I am Iron Man. They have priority. They have priority. They could enchantress me here. Do I just play Spectrum? And if I play Spectrum here, that's 11 points of power because of armor. 11 plus 5 is 16. Hmm. And then I'm 9 mid... I mean, this is a Surfer deck. They, they're not running Enchantress. I will play Spectrum right. Nice. Uh-oh. I, uh oh, this is gonna be close. How close? Oh, nice. Pulled it out. Definitely the right decision, not playing Spectrum left and abandoning that. With Warpath, they really didn't want to lose that bonus, so they just gave up mid. And with Iron Man down, thought they could pull off the Hazmat Odin play with Sarah and the help from my magic uh, allowed them to make that last turn play. But Spectrum came in clutch. Okay, so I will call it there. Uh, we more or less stayed at the same rank, so I just treaded water. But a lot of that is I am not super familiar, of course, with a Series 2 deck anymore. It's been a year since I've <laughs> used the Series 2 deck. The better, you, the more you use this deck, the better you will get at it. It is possible to win. I will probably include this entire... I've been recording for 34 minutes. I will probably include the entire run and just fast forward through some of it. Just so you can see the full totality. That there were definitely losses in there. Some that I should have retreated because I didn't see my winning lines clear enough and what the opponent was doing. But this deck can win. It, and if it can win in high infinite, it can win at all levels. You just, again, have to be smart at snapping and retreating. So here's the deck. I will put the deck code in the comments. This is really only advisable for beginner level players if you are still in series two or part of series three there are of course series three cards that would work very good in this type of deck wong comes to mind if you unlock him because you can play wong down and then spectrum for two spectrum buffs so there's, there's a lot you can do in this deck. We didn't get a chance to use Sean, funny enough. But there's the deck. It's definitely useful to get some wins. 
I, of course, wouldn't advise it for a serious climb if you are close to collection complete. But if you are just getting started, this is a good deck that you can find success with. All right, everybody. Until next time.